Happy New Year. Uh, 2023 is going to be a good year. Depends on your perspective. But for me, every year is a great year because I learn lessons. It's all about learning lessons, growing, forgiving, all sorts of things that I've talked about. But this video is going to be strictly about health. Um, as you uh, probably mentioned many times before, I've had it a holistic with my business partner, a holistic wellness company based out of Texas for going on 15 years. We went down there to start off as a weight loss company for men, naturally, holistically, and expanded to working with children, families, women, and uh, all sorts of uh, other things from diabetes to cancer to autism. We worked with a uh, whole cross section of people with spectacular results. Um, as I say, 80% of our body is what we put into it. 20% is genetic, genetics and exercise. We are what we eat. So it's a new year. And what happens is we become what some of us become what we call resolutionists. I was back in my old life. We spend most of December, oh, well, my shoes. I'll talk about my shoes in my old life. Most of December kind of disgusted on how uh, we've been eating and drinking. And then the holidays come and we kind of get sick and tired of ourselves and say, well, come the first of the year, I'm going to make all these changes. And we make these plans for the first of the year. And then we become what I call resolutionists. We make a gym membership. We pay the money for that. We uh, say we're going to quit drinking for a month or we're going to quit smoking. And we try to do all this stuff at once. And it's a shock to the body. It can't be done. So, um, you know, even when I used to like the gyms, I don't like them now. We, a lot of, and I'm sure some of you out there see this that we would quit going to the gyms the first couple of weeks of January because everybody comes out it gets crowded and then they slowly filter off and then the regular people are back to having the gym again so the point being is as I've said many times and I'm repeating a lot of things here but there I'm here to sometimes you got to hear it um, if you want diets don't work they never do they don't work. You may lose that weight for your high school reunion or for a wedding or something, but then you will gain it all back again if you quit what you're doing. There's a lot of pills, potions, shakes, machines, and machines, um, and all sorts of things out there that make the weight loss business a billion dollar industry. It's not sustainable. It's not. It's going to uh, end up affecting your pocketbook in the long run, and uh, you may lose weight, but you gain it all back again unless you stay on that certain program. There's new programs coming up every year, the new goji berry, the new this. And if you think you can lose weight or get healthy with the help of a pill or something new that comes out, you're wrong. You're just going to get sucked into that money scheme that they're doing out there. You have to change your lifestyle. It's all about a lifestyle change, and it's about the long game. Consistency and patience. So... You want to be a resolutionist and you get going and you go into the gym and you, you know, you've been sedentary for like a year and all of a sudden you go break your ass at the gym. It's a shock to the body. It's, it's not going to work very well. So I always tell clients, I tell friends, anyone that will listen, you start small. You start small and start easing into a lifestyle because the groundwork you're laying today is going to reflect for the next 5, 10, the rest of your life. So I always ask this question too. Where do you want to be? in 10, 15, 20 years? What do you want your quality of life to be? Do you want to be on five or six different medications with one foot practically in the grave? Or do you want to be healthy and vital like we all can? I just turned 60 in July. I find it hard to believe that I'm <laughs> up there already, but I feel better than I did in my 30s. I'm probably in better shape. Um, maybe my body's not a 30-year-old body anymore, but I can do amazing things. And I don't take a pill for anything. And it, we all can be there is my point. Our bodies are amazing machines if we give it the right tools. <laughs> and uh, there's no easy fix. There never will be. You've got to work hard at it. And it becomes consistency and patience. I say that over and over to my clients. They get tired of me hearing that, but I have to say it's all about the long game. So what you start today, you have to think about doing it for the rest of your life or at least for a few years until things change and you can adjust. So, you want to start something new in the new year? You want to start to get healthy? My recommendation is you start small. It's all about baby steps. So first off, let's talk about food. The standard American diet, and ironically, the acronym for that is SAD, S-A-D, is killing us. It has been for 40, 50 years. They put sugar and all sorts of garbage in our foods. And if you just look at where we've come as a nation, the obesity rate and things like that, it says for itself. If you're, if you're going out to eating at 
fast food joints every single day or you know getting the chicken at your fried chicken at your local grocery store it's going to add up it's going to add up so you've got to take some time to start looking at your food food is everything right now what you're putting in your mouth is your body 80 percent of our body is what we put into it so first you've got to cut and this is the same thing i tell the clients you've got to cut out sugars there's sugar in everything um, white flours, deep fried foods, mostly grains. The first thing grains do, that's G-R-A-I-N-S. When it enters our body, our body metabolizes it into a simple sugar. So if you're getting up in the morning and you're having pancakes and waffles with the fake syrup that has nothing in it, the fake orange juice and Fruit Loops, that's pure sugar you're putting in your body. Then you go to the office and you have donuts or kolaches at 10, 11 o'clock, sugar. Then you go out and have uh, some fast food that's mostly sugar. It, just because it's not sweet doesn't mean it's not sugar. And then you're snacking all day long and stuff. So we've got to, we've got to stop our sugar intake. Um, I won't go into fine detail here, but our, our losing weight and turning our body's metabolism from burning just straight carbs and sugar back into what's called fat adapted is cutting out sugar. It's all about our blood sugars. It really is. So we have to cut out sugar. So initially, you don't have to do it all at once, but stop eating the crap. <laughs> Candy, pastries, um, sodas, the worst, Cokes, Pepsis, all that sort of crap. You want to be drinking at least 60 to 80 ounces of water a day. And I know that sounds like a lot for a lot of people. I drink a gallon plus a day. Um, you can put stuff in it, natural. I put lemon in mine, so drink it plain most of the time, but I could talk to you for an afternoon about the benefits of water. It helps flush our system out. It helps a tremendous amount of things. Um, so you want to be initially drinking water. Work up your water content. Cut out processed foods, sugars. Start increasing where I'm coming from, what I'm teaching. Start increasing your saturated fats. We're all about meat. We're sort of paleo, uh, keto oriented. Um, and keto is another thing I won't get into right now. We were doing keto way before even people knew what it was about. But the problem with ketosis, it's a wonderful tool to use at the beginning of trying to reset your body at all. But there is a lot of diminishing returns with keto. And though it's the big thing now and everyone's talking about it, you do have to have an exit strategy after a while. For our clients, we put them into ketosis for about a month because it helps level out their blood sugars and bring them down. And then we start bringing in more better carbs. So it's all about a sustainable lifestyle. Um, again, more detail depending on the person I will get it. I can get into that to another time. But you want to be increasing your saturated fats. If you're not a meat eater, then like avocados are the highest saturated fat of all vegetables. Um, coconut oil, tremendous saturated fat. Because these saturated fat keep us satiated, which means it doesn't make us hungry. It'll keep us less hungry throughout the day and we're eating less. I'm going fast here. But um, um, it's about our food intake. And once we start with what we're putting in our food, drink-wise, um, then you level it out and your body starts working towards that. Then your body starts doing what it was, what you were born and blessed with your body and all your organs and everything start working for you and doing what they're meant to do. Your immune system starts improving, uh, all sorts of things. So let me recap by uh, simple. I know I'm going a little tangents here, but you want to start your water intake. You want to start cutting out all the garbage when you can. And this can be over a period of time. That's sodas, uh, sugar, desserts, fast food, um, uh, all that crap. You know, start trying to cook for yourself or looking at things that are, that are better for you. Vegetable content, things like that. Sleep. That is the cornerstone of everything. If you're running on hardly any sleep at all or not sleeping very well, that's something you need to work on. Our bodies are made to sleep. I mean, we're, we, we need the sleep. We need six to eight hours a night minimally. And we all have bad night's sleep, but our bodies love routine. So try to start going to bed at a certain hour every night and getting up at a certain time every day. That routine will start to build in and help with the melatonin as you're going to sleep and uh, your circadian rhythms. So we all have times that are off, but things like watching TV or playing games or eating right before we go to bed are all things that are going to affect our sleep. Sleep is the cornerstone. Of course, exercise, 
You start with moderate exercise, which is walking. I encourage my clients to do low impact exercise. Get out and walk um, half a mile, a mile a day. You're getting outside, you're getting some vitamin D from the sun. Maybe not where I am right now in Idaho in the winter, but it still helps. You're getting outside and you're doing those things. So these are all simple fixes you all heard before, but what happens with human nature is we think the more complicated or the more expensive I did in my own life, then it'll work. So if you just start by tapering off the garbage you're eating and, and starting to drink more water, work on your sleep, increase your saturated fats, and moderate exercise to beginning, I guarantee you, you're gonna to start to even out with a month, you will start losing weight. Just doing that alone, guaranteed. Um, now there's a lot more detail that I work with clients on an individual basis that you know we get things going, but this is simple. This is not rocket science, but many of us, it's that old cliche, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink, you know? Um, so I try to encourage people to think about the long game because we as Americans, and I was that way in my own life, we want everything quick. We want it yesterday. And if I wasn't having something work yesterday, I was taking a pill or potion. I was on the latest goji berry trend. I was, uh, and this is what happens. We get on these big things. We're on this roller coaster ride and our body never has the time to catch up. So you have to treat your body first. Healthy body, healthy mind, healthy soul. And as you start giving your body the tools so it can work with, then you will start to see improvements in all sorts of things of your body. Concentration, sleep, how we feel, bowel movements, all sorts of things. But it starts with baby steps. Again, increase water intake. Cut out the sugars, the grains, the, the, star, the fast foods, all that garbage. Moderate exercise and being consistent with your sleep. Just those alone will get you started. And then, after a month or so, then we, you can start moving into other arenas, which I can talk about later. Um, we've had a track record with clients for, for years now. You know, we've had clients coming off their type 2, di type 2 diabetes medicines within a month and a half per their doctor's orders. Clients who've been on type 2 diabetes medicines for um, years, 20 years sometimes. We've had clients coming off their statins, which are the cholesterol lowering drugs. I won't even get started on that agenda. Per their doctor's orders, blood pressure medicine, per their doctor's orders. Um, hormonal issues for women and testosterone issues for men. Increasing, all these sort of things starting to happen just by starting with what I talked to you about, starting with putting the right fuel in our body. Our immune system, something people have been looking at or maybe not looking at this last two or three years has come to prominence because of the COVID pandemic. Um, people have get, got a lot of uptick in calls about people suddenly wanting to know more about their immune system because we work on that. It's a byproduct of, all this is a byproduct. Even losing weight is a byproduct of starting to treat our body right and giving our body the right tools. Our immune system comes full and center once we start doing this because our immune system through the years and eating all the garbage and stress is a big killer is all in our bodies trying to handle all that stuff that it shouldn't. Once we get our immune system focused again, by putting the right fuel in and some other things, we've got what we were born to be prepared for. So when a virus comes at us, we have the body and we have the immune system to fight it. We all get sick, but I've been sick in a long, long time. I've been traveling for four years during the COVID, uh, um, uh, when it first came out, the summer right after it came out, I did a cross-country trip. I'm doing something right, so lead by example, as they say. So there's a lot. So I guess my talk here is to say, try not to overdo it if you're going to make a change in your lifestyle. A lifestyle, not a diet. Start small. Start with baby steps and let your body come into it. Let your body start to talk. Like if you're drinking a 12-pack of Coke a week, Go down to 10 or 9 over a week. Go down to 7 or start titrating down. You don't have to do it overnight because this is all about the long game. So hopefully a little bit of that helped. Um, but I see a lot of people that struggle and then they get frustrated and then they're back to where they started another year. And I was I did that a few years myself, but you can. You have, It's your birthright to be healthy and vital, especially as we get older. We don't have to start easing towards our graves sooner than later. We can be healthy and vital, just like in our 20s and 30s, like I feel. 
So if you ever want to know any more information, I do these videos occasionally and talk about health. I'm always here to talk. You know, my uh, you can send me an email. Um, I think my phone number is there too, or you can send an email. Uh, it's keithsellin at gmail.com if you ever want to uh, talk more in depth about uh, weight loss or any issue, health issues that are bothering you. I'm here to give advice. That's it. This is what I'm here on the earth to do is help people along. So hope you're having a good new year and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.